Hey, it's Jeff with YourLearningCareer.com. If you are responsible for delivering or designing training for your company, chances are you're probably in PowerPoint quite a bit. And you're, if you're building your presentations, you're also probably always on the lookout for good graphics and photographs. Now, sometimes you find just the right one and it's good to go as is. But a lot of the time, at least for me, there is some editing that needs to be done with the picture. Now, I could throw it into Photoshop and make those edits, but to be honest, Photoshop can be a lot of overkill, usually, for what I need to do. The good news is there, is, there are editing capabilities built right into PowerPoint, and I'm gonna show you some of those in this video. So stick around, take a look. Here I am in my presentation, and for this presentation, I am pretending that I am creating some training for a volunteer orientation for a zoo. So right here, my first slide is a title slide, and it's kind of boring. So actually, one of the first things I want to do, so I'm not editing a graphic here, but sort of related to getting graphics, I'm going to go up here to design ideas. And this is something I like to go to and just check out and see what suggestions there might be. Now, it doesn't always have exactly what I'm looking for, but a lot of times I can get some, some good things here. Like, for example, I like the fact that for my Welcome to the Zoo, I like these, these options with the owl and the koala. These are kind of fun. So I'm going to go with this cute little koala and look at that this is nice I have in one click I've got a photo and my text there I did not have to go searching for a photo now let's move on to some graphics that I already have so these are graphics that I grabbed and I've put them onto these slides but they need some adjustments and so that's really what the bulk of this um, video is about, right? We want to look at graphics and how we can edit them within PowerPoint. So I'm just going to show you some of that. All right, so here we go. First, starting out, we've got this um, slide about getting around. And I've got a map here. So when it came in, it's sized like this. So it's a little big. I, I don't like that it's covering the bar and, and taking up all this space. So the first edit I'm going to make is a resize which is really easy I'm just gonna click on the on the uh, photo on the image and then I've got these little white circles and I can just uh, I'm gonna click and drag down to make it smaller and then I'm gonna reposition it and there we go so that's a resize that's really super easy um, you've probably done this a bunch Next, I'm going to add a border. That's something kind of nice. If you want to enhance a graphic with a border, it's really easy to do. So again, I'm going to select my graphic here, my picture. Um, now I can go up and I can click on picture format, or I could also double click and it will actually open it for me. And I'm going to go to picture border. Now obviously there's a lot of different ways you could go with the border but I'm gonna just I like this um, one well I'm gonna do the weight the weight um, I'll do this uh, two and a fourth point so that's gonna put a black border around the picture and that's fine I'm gonna resize it a little bit so it's not running into that bar at the top there um, now something else I want to do with this map see this sketched this is kind of this is kind of fun a different style of border so in this case I'm clicking on this curved I kind of like that look I like the way it makes the map look even more like a map or, or like an illustration so that's kind of fun all right so I'm gonna go with that for this so I've resized it and I've added a border next I'm gonna go to my reptiles slide and here I've got this handsome looking chameleon he's facing right currently now there are a couple things I want to look at here first of all you'll notice that the picture when I click on it you, you see how it's um, 
it goes off the slide. And that's really not, it's a white background. It's really not that big of a deal for when I, if I put this in the slideshow, that's not going to show up. But just for the sake of demonstrating, I want to look at cropping that. So that's excess part of, that's an excess part of the picture that I don't need. So I'm going to crop it. So if I double click, you know, I'll be, it'll take me into that picture format. And right there is crop. So cropping a picture in PowerPoint is super easy. I'm just going to click that crop. I put my mouse over. It's going to turn into a, a black line. And then I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it in to where I want to crop it. And I can go up, you know, I can do that. I can do this. So you can do that very easily with your pictures. And then to get rid of this um, gray, this dark gray box, I can just click outside of the picture and that disappears. I could also click crop again. So see if I click crop and then cl click it again, that goes away. So that's really easy. Um, and if I realize, oh, I cropped too much out, I can always, again, select the picture, crop, and I can adjust this. So that's not set in stone. I can always come back and adjust it. All right, so crop is really handy. And then let's say I want to resize my chameleon. Maybe I want to make him bigger. Now, look at this. Because he has this solid white background, if I like this size, but I might say, oh my goodness, now it's covering my border up here at the top. What do I do? I want to show you a transparency tool that's really handy in situations like this. It's a quick and easy way to get rid of that solid background so that it um, doesn't cover this. And all I do here is click the picture. I'm going to go to color. And then right here is set transparent color. And I'm going to click that. And I'll click on the white because that's what I want to be transparent. And look at that. Now my chameleon is not blocking this line. So that's a really handy tool um, particularly when you've got a picture with a solid colored background. All right, and then one more thing I want to do with this chameleon. Let's say, oh, I really like where, where this, how this is looking, but maybe I'd like him to face the other direction. Is there a way to do that? Yes, very easily. I can click on my picture. I've got this rotate option here. And there's a flip. See that? I can flip vertical. I can flip horizontal. So in this case, I can flip horizontal. And there you go. And now it is facing the other direction. Super easy. So these are just some nice, you know, easy, basic things I can do here in PowerPoint. And we're going to get more, um, more advanced here in a couple slides. All right. So that is our chameleon. I like the way it looks. Let's move on. Here is an aquarium picture. Now for this one, I just wanted to show this really quick little, um, it's called artistic effects. And up at the top over here, we have artistic effects. These can be, these can add interesting elements to your picture. So you can explore, but if you hover over each one, you can see what it is and it's it's nice because it shows you before you commit to it you can see what it looks like so if I wanted something that looked like a pencil sketch for example I could do that um, there was one on here I liked for this one glass so I'm gonna use I'm gonna do glass because it's like oh I'm I'm looking through glass into the aquarium anyway that's just a quick little simple one I wanted to show all right, now let's get into a little more advanced editing here in um, PowerPoint. And I'm going to go to my last slide here, which is for the mammals. Now here I've got this cool looking sloth. But usually when I picture a sloth, it's not crawling. Notice how he's crawling on the ground, which I'm sure they do. But when I think of a sloth, I imagine them climbing a tree. So I've got a tree, a faux tree uh, here on the slide. 
Now I want to make this guy climb it. So what I will do is rotate this picture because I want him, or it could be a her, I want her to <laughs> climb this tree. So I've moved that around. So we're going to combine some of the different things that we just looked at. Um, I'm going to crop because I want to get rid of as much of this stuff, this ground and this foliage over here. So I will crop here up to there. Uh, let's see, here's a doo -doo. crop that, crop down there, and finally I'll crop that. Now that's good and then I'm going to click off here. All right, that's good except of course I still have all this other stuff. Now I showed that um, that tool which under color and set transparent color but check this out if I put if I do that here because ideally I want to get rid of all that background but that doesn't quite work um, it does not work as well when there's a bunch of different colors okay so we're gonna do something else we're gonna use over here remove background this is very handy so what I when I click on this everything in purple is what it's going to remove so right off the bat if I if I go with it as is look what happens if I keep changes oh that's terrible my it, my sloth doesn't even look like a sloth anymore so we don't want to do that so let's go back in to remove background. So what I need to do is I need to give it a little more information because it's confused. So they have a mark areas to keep and a mark areas to remove. And that is where I'm going to go next. So I'm going to mark some of the areas to keep because I want to keep my sloth. So I just kind of mark around different things. See, and see now it's coming back. I'm going to mark on his claws. All right, let's see how this looks. So if I keep changes or if I click off of the picture. All right, so it's, a, it's better, but there's still work to be done. So I brought back my sloth, but now there's still some of this other stuff. So the key point here is you may have to spend a little time getting rid of some of the details. So now I, I am going to need to go back in and now I'm going to have to mark areas to remove because I've got the rocks that have come back and some of this stuff at the top. So let me go do that real quick. Okay, so here we go. I think my sloth is looking pretty good. I'm going to slide him over here to the tree. And he looks more now like he is actually climbing the tree instead of laying in the middle of the road. So like I said, that can be that can take a little time to, to do the mark areas to remove and mark areas to keep. Um, but again, it's really nice that you're able to do it right here in PowerPoint and not have to leave to go to a different software program. All right, well, there you go. Those were some quick tips and tricks on how to make edits to your pictures within PowerPoint. Uh, hopefully you found something useful that you can use next time you are building a PowerPoint for your training class. Um, if you like this or if you like these types of videos, please subscribe. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see, other types of uh, training tips and tricks. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.